Okay, so I'm back on candy cane trying to figure out this popping issue. So I set my carburetor up according to uh, Muscle Car Solutions, how he does it. Still had the popping issue. I was thinking it might have been a lean issue because of that, but I decided what the heck. Let me go ahead and check, make sure number one is not a tooth off or something like that. So I currently have my timing mark on zero and I have number one is number one is up and I am 180 degrees out now tell me how in the heck does this thing run like it does and burn tires 180 degrees out all right let me get this spun around and we will try it again. All right, so I pulled the front off the motor to check my timing marks and they appear to be still in time. But what I noticed was this chain has got a lot of slack in it. I did notice that my timing mark was bouncing all over the place when I was trying to set my timing. So. I've got a billet timing set here. I'm gonna go ahead and get it swapped out and put a new chain on here. Get it all put back together, make sure uh, everything else is in time and then we'll try it again. So I got the new uh, billet timing chain installed. Uh, got it all lined up. This one has no slack in it. It's nice and tight. Um, that's a lot nicer than any of those cheap timing sets I've ever bought. This chain is a lot tighter and I'm pretty sure it's a lot more accurate. And as Just Mopar Joe did in a previous video of his, he compared a cheaper double roller timing chain to a good one. And it was, it was a big difference. So I can see uh, this is probably gonna help my timing a lot because my, my timing mark was jumping around as I was trying to set my timing. I believe it'll be pretty stable now. I don't think this is gonna fix the uh, popping issue because I still think that it's a, as stated up above, I believe it's a lean condition when I come off the throttle. When I crack the throttle, it's going lean and it's popping. Because when I give it more gas, it, it smooths out. I don't have an AFR gauge in here, a wide band so I can see what's going on. Um, I do have a a Holly carburetor I'm gonna put on here and try out. I'm gonna put a 6.5 uh, power valve in it because I checked my vacuum at idles around 12. So I, I need a, a six on a power valve. So I'm gonna put a 6.5 in there and go from that. So anyway, let's get this thing put back together. I've got a nice aluminum timing cover I'm gonna put on here now just since I've already got it apart. All right, Steven here back on candy cane today and I'm an idiot so as you all know I've been fighting this popping issue that's been a sounding like a lane condition with candy cane here um, I was setting my time and I noticed my timing mark was jumping all around the place so I went ahead pulled it apart and my timing chain was had a lot of slack in it I mean like it was rattling so I went ahead and took it out and I had a billet timing set for my 481. So I went ahead and put my billet timing set in here and that fixed my timing issue. I have a steady timing uh, mark now. I mean, it's it's not moving at all. It's dead where it's supposed to be. I got set at uh, 30 degrees base timing right now. And I am running a vacuum advance and an MSD 6AL. Um, drove it down the road. It, it runs a lot better. It, uh, still popping when I crack that the, the, the carburetor just barely crack it still popping so I've got a, a Holly 670 Street Avenger here I just put a new 6.5 power valve in it and I was getting ready to swap it out so I started to pull the Edelbrock off I got everything unhooked except for the fuel line and I look around here because I thought I heard a vacuum leak on this thing when I had it running a few minutes ago and sure enough I did 
I thought this T fitting that is in my intake was a uh, had a plug on one side, but it appears that it's a big open vacuum leak right here on this back cylinder. Just, I mean, sucking air straight in. Got the vac, got my power brakes hooked up, and the power brakes are working. But it's a big vacuum hole right there, so hopefully that's it. I'm going to go ahead and leave this on here. I'm going to put the Put all the nuts back on it, get it bolted back down. I'm gonna plug that big ass vacuum hole in the back. Then I'm gonna take it down the road and see how it does. If it does good, then uh, I'm still gonna put the Holly on here because the Holly's just run better for drag racing. I'm gonna put the Holly on here and try it out. Um, but I'm an idiot. Ever since I put this engine in here, I'm, I'm guessing that I've had that port open on this the whole time. And it caused me to swap heads, swap the timing chain, which timing chain was, it was wore out. It didn't need to be swapped. It didn't have to be, but my timing is dead on now. It, it was bouncing all over the place. That did need to be changed. And I knew that when I put it in there, I was like, man, this timing chain has a lot of slack, but I went ahead and put it in there cause it had only been in candy cane for about six years and only 2000 miles on it. But it was a, it was a cheap double roller. Um, now I've got an SA gear uh, billet set in here. It's, it's a whole lot nicer setup. But I'm an idiot. I did find it though. We're gonna try this out. Hopefully this is it. Get right back with you. Okay. So here it is. I plugged the hole. All I had was a piece of rubber hose and a bolt, but it's on there really tight. Um, if this works, I'll put a zip tie on it. I gotta put zip ties on all my vacuum lines anyway. I always do that as a have to make sure it's sealed off so we don't even really have to drive it if i can hold it part throttle and it doesn't do all the popping and snapping to the exhaust then i know that that's my lean condition all right let's fire this thing up wow the idle is it was idled on 900 that's what i've had it set on 400 RPM drop, which tells me that it is uh, definitely something different. So here we go. No, still, still popping. Okay, so here is a uh, another update on candy cane. I just got home like 15 minutes ago. I just got home from uh, my brother's house where we just put the 360 back in at Barracuda. We got it back, back together. It's almost ready to run. Um, I'll have a video coming out tomorrow morning for that. Or it may be before this video or after, I'm not sure. I gotta put this video together too, but last night, um, I was still having an issue with the popping on candy cane yesterday. And as the video says, you know, I had the vacuum leak. So I tore the front end back off of the engine and I had put the billet timing set in here. Well, I was one tooth off on the timing. I guess I didn't see the mark good when I put it in here. And I mean, that happened. So, Put it all back together. Um, set everything back to zero the way that I've been doing it the whole time. Um, and it still wouldn't fire off. I've been having to set the distributor 180 out to get it to, to 
fire up. I mean, it's not making sense. But anyway, it does run. So I just got home and set my distributor back. Got everything tightened down. I had the, the distributor out yesterday. So I went ahead and I locked it in. I welded it up and locked it in so that I'm no longer using a vacuum advance. Run straight timing on it, um, which I've got it set on 30 degrees right at the moment. It may want a little bit more, but right now I've got it set on 30. And I have fired it up, so let's fire it back up. I did change out my rocker arms. I took my Scorpion rocker arms off and I put a set of just roller tip rocker arms on here. I readjusted all the valves again. <clears throat> anyway, check this out. I noticed instantly when it fired up, it sounds a lot different. I was a little bit down. Sounds the way that it used to sound, the way it should. Turn on some lights. It's getting dark here. Um, revving way better. It revs, it revs a lot better than it did. But also, Check this out. If I park throttle now, no more popping. The popping is gone. The popping is gone. Finally, after messing with this thing for months, I just dug in this last week or so trying to figure out the popping issue. Other than I did swap heads. Um, Looks like candy cane, motor-wise, is back running where I want it. So, I'm going to go test drive it. It's getting dark, but I'm going to go test drive it real quick. See how it does. And tomorrow, I'll put some more gas in here because it ain't got a lot. And I'll go out and make another video of me making a pass down the road. And uh, see how it does then. Or I may wait and put this video out with it on there. If so, then here it is coming up. But anyway, Candy Cane's back in. Now I can focus on my next one. I got a new set of shocks coming in for the front. I can focus on the next item for No Name Nationals. And that's redoing my exhaust. I'm going to put the exhaust, I guess I'm going to probably put it back sticking up out of the bed. And last year I tried to do a flamethrower kit, but I run out of time. The flamethrower kit is built, but I've got to order things for propane injection so i want to shoot you know like three foot flames out of the bed of the truck so now i can work on propane injection because i think the truck's going to be running good i'm about to find out but anyway thanks for watching oh yeah i dropped my phone just then so so thanks for watching and uh hit that subscribe if you're not subscribed and you want to keep up with updates on the truck um hit that like if you enjoy seeing my content and I'll see you on the next video. I'm Big Block 402, and I'm about to be gone test driving candy cane. See you on the next one. All right, guys, I guess I'll go ahead and bring you along on this ride. Um, no more popping. No more popping. I'm about out of gas, though. I'm only about a mile from the house. Hopefully, I can make it back. But I'm not sure exactly. I know I had a huge vacuum leak, and that was a lean pop we kept getting. I also think I might have had some of the valves a little too tight. So I didn't tighten them. Uh, instead of a half turn, from zero lash, I, I went a quarter turn. Uh, when they're hydraulic, but I think I may have had them a little bit too tight. Not real sure, but anyway, it's it's running. It's running better now. Uh, let's see if I got enough gas. To get
get back home and I'll stop, make a little pull. I don't know if I can record it though, I gotta shift it. Sounds great now though, just like it used to. Benny King's back. Said now to focus on the next things on my list, which is uh, the biggest deal is the propane injection for my flamethrower kit. I'm not going to stop all the way, but I am going to go to low gear. As soon as this car passes, this truck, I'm going to hit it. Here we go, y'all ready?